Hey everyone and welcome back to NP Station. Today we are going to be continuing in the Python projects on my series. And for those of you guys who are new here and who don't know this Python series that I have, there are multiple other Python projects that I've uploaded to this series. For example, we've created a quiz game in Python. We've also created an Alexa, which is super cool. So if you haven't already, make sure to check those out. They're really simple, easy, and fun projects to complete just like the one we will be doing today. Today we'll be doing a password generator in Python. Now without further ado, let's get into it. Hey everyone, so let's get right into coding our password generator project in Python. So for this project, I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code. So let's go ahead and create a file here. New file, I'm just going to call it password generator. And I will say .py at the end to make it a Python file. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to import two modules and those are the, imp the string and random modules. Next, what we're going to do is have a variable. We're going to call it characters. And here, we're actually going to create a list. So go ahead and say list there. So in the parentheses, we're going to use the string module. So string.ascii underscore letters. So you might be wondering, what is ASCII? So ASCII stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. And ASCII is actually the most common character encoding format for text data in computers and on the internet. So that uh, is going to hold all of the letters in the ASCII underscore letters that we will be able to use for our password. Next, we're going to add um, a string dot digits. So that will have all of the numbers. And we're also going to um, add a set of random symbols. So in double quotes, go ahead and just type in some random symbols here, like all of them on your keyboard. All right, so we got all of them there and that is all for our characters variable. Okay, so now after this, we're gonna go ahead and create a function. So we're gonna use that def keyword. We're gonna say generate password. So that's the name of our function here. Okay, so in here, let's create a variable called password underscore length. And what we wanna do is um, here, we're gonna ask the user how long they want their password to be. So since it is going to be in an integer input because users gonna enter in a number, we're gonna say int, which stands for integer, int input, and here we'll just go ahead and type in the question. How long would you like your password to be? Give a space there so they have some, the user has some space to enter their uh, number. Okay, so after that, we're done with that password length variable. We'll create, we'll use that random module that we imported, and we're gonna use a function called shuffle which is going to be used to shuffle the um, data from the characters variable. So you can see here we have some letters, digits, and symbols. So based on the length of their password that they want the password to be, we will shuffle the um, data from that characters variable. Now after that, let's go ahead and create a password variable and just set it to some empty brackets. And then we'll have a for loop. So for x in range, and we'll use that password uh, length variable. So password underscore length. And let's close that, add a colon. Here inside, we'll say password.append. And we'll have random.choice. And in parentheses, we'll have characters. So we're just going to append a random choice of characters to the password variable. And now let's exit that for loop. So make sure you're in that same indentation as line 13. And here we'll say random.shuffle. Again, we're using that shuffle function. And here it is, um, we're gonna call the password variable. So we're gonna uh, shuffle that password variable again to generate a password. We're going to say password is equal to, I'm just gonna have empty quotation marks there, dot join put that in the password variable, and then we're going to print the password to the user. 
Oops, let me spell that correctly. Okay, there we go. So now we're done with that whole generate password function. So now exit that. Here, we're going to create one other, I think last variable actually, which is option. And we're gonna set that to input. Here, we need to ask the question to the user itself, which is, do you want to generate a password? So it is kind of weird because the first thing that the program is going to do is like down here after the whole function that's because we need to later call the function in other lines of code so we're just going to order it like this do you want to generate a password and we can give the user two options here so that it's clear what they need to enter which is yes or no and give a space there for them to enter it all right now we need a if condition here so we're going to say if option we're using the option variable so if option is yes, meaning if the user has entered yes for this question, we're going to say yes, then we're going to call our generate password function. So it's going to call the uh, generate password function. It's going to go back here and run through all that code. Okay, now we can say elif, which means if the user, let's say option is equal to no. So if the user entered no for the question, then we can say print uh, program ended and we can also um, quit the program here. Now the reason I said elif and not else is because, well, what if the user makes a typo? What if instead of yes, they say, well, they could say yeah, right? Or they just made a simple error there. Well, that's totally fine. We can just put in a print function and say that it's invalid input that the users entered invalid input and we can tell them again to please input a yes or no just to clarify again to the user what they need to say and then we can also make sure to put that quit program at the end okay so we have actually just finished our password generator project let's go ahead and run the code see if it works so it's going to open our terminal window. It has asked us the first question, which is, do you want to generate a password, yes or no? Let's go ahead and put in yes. Once you click enter, it will say, how long would you like your password to be? So you can enter an, any integer here. So I'm going to go ahead and say seven. And you can see that it is actually given us a seven character password here with random letters and symbols. So that's great. Now let's go ahead and run this again to test out some more options. Let's say if we say no, it, it will say program ended. And the other option was a typo. So let's say, say yeah. What's well, gonna say invalid input, please input yes or no. So that's great guys, you have successfully created a password generator program. Um, just go ahead and play around with this. Put in um, a random integer here. I'm gonna say 100. So you can see now there's 100 characters in my password. Um, so now you'll be able to use this password for any account for your login information. But I hope you guys had fun in today's video. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to NP Station. But that's all for today, guys. Keep reading, keep coding, and stay safe.